Hi, everybody. Welcome to Jenkins Boat Works. I am Chuck Jenkins. In this video episode, we're going to do something a little different. I had a little time on my hands. As most of you know, we're working on our San Marco stand up paddle board. I am at a point with it where I'm gluing strips on, and that takes all of about 20 minutes, and then I have to wait for the glue to dry. So I thought, you know, I'm gonna to try to build a half hole model of my Haven 12 and a half. Many of you know that we spent about five years building the Haven and I got her in the water on my birthday last summer. And I thought, well, how hard could it be? Uh, I have to say I was spurred on to, to greatness by Bob Emser from the Art of Boat Building as he is working on some half hole models, uh, largely for the tender Victoria that is part of the Acorn to, Ella, Acorn to Arabella project. And so, uh, quite honestly, I could have picked a simpler model to do my first half hole, but um, we're making some good progress. And so, uh, for those of you that have built a half hole model before, uh, in some of this, you're probably gonna look at it and go, what is he doing? He doesn't have any idea what he's doing. <laughs> But that never stops me from taking a crack at it. So anyway, we're glad you're here. I believe this is going to be two parts because there's just a lot of content and uh, you're going to get to watch me make some screw ups. And hopefully if you have any desire for making a half hole model on your own, uh, you can learn from my trial and error. So uh, we're glad you're here. If you happen to be new to Jenkins Boat Works, uh, please consider subscribing. Uh, if you subscribe, there should be a little bell down below the subscribe button that would, if you click that, it'll allow you to get updates or notifications when future videos come out. Uh, I believe this will be a two-part thing because like I said, I'm kind of goofing it up, but so far I haven't had to start over. All right, let's jump in and see if I can figure this out. This is our construction plan for the Haven 12 and a half. We built the Haven a couple of years ago, actually got done with it at about this time last year. There's a way to do it by coming off the plans. So this here is a side view of the boat. I believe they call it a profile view. This view here is as if the boat was upside down and looking down on it. So these water lines represent how the hull is shaped, almost like a contour map on, like on a topographical land map. So like this would be a higher elevation and then the elevations get lower as you get toward the, the shear line. And for the most part, what I need is this, this uh, bird's eye, or if the boat's in the water, fish eye view, I suppose you could call it. And so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some one by pine. And the reason I'm gonna do that is that one by is really only three quarters of an inch. And conveniently, these uh, lines on the profile are a quarter inch apart. So that makes that pretty easy to, to do this. So what we'll do is we'll lay these down underneath this and use some pin prick holes in it to match up on here and then we'll be able to draw our line on here and we'll do one for each water line. We'll do one for here, for here. And so we're gonna have a series of curves uh, pieces of wood that then we'll stack on top of each other, glue them together, and then we should have a rough idea what the what the shape of it is. That'll make a lot more sense as we get into this. Well, I just took the, the wood and put it underneath here, made my little pin pricks, and I can see my holes on here. Drawing a fair line is not an easy thing to do, even as close together as these are. So 
So we should be able to take this to the bandsaw and cut this line out. Cool. We've actually got a little bit over the line. If I bring it right down on the keel line there, we're a little bit over it, but I'm good with that. So we got our first one done here. This next one is the actual water line. So in other words, if the boat's in the water, this part's underwater, this part's above the water. So because it's a water line, I'm gonna use a piece of accent wood. I'm going to use mahogany and that'll be a different color from the pine that I'm using. And I think that'll look kind of cool because it'll show where the water line is on the half hole. So what I'm going to do then is line this up right on the paper edge. I've kind of shifted how I'm doing this. Make sure that's right on the edge of that. And then I can still set this down so that my paper, my marks are right on the edge of there so I know where the keel is and I can feel through there and feel that we're right on that, on that keel line. Now, the board's there and I can feel it there, so we're good. So we're, not, we're gonna just go through and poke our holes for the water line here. Now this is the transom and it's at an angle. So we're just going to start here. Poke our holes in there. I started doing this a minute ago and I had a piece of pine and I was like, got to thinking about it. And I was like, I want that water line to be a different piece of wood. So. Ooh, didn't mean to do that. Yikes. All right. Punch through the paper. I'm gonna tape that on the back side of there. It doesn't tear. Oh man, that is not good. I'm trying to find where there's places where this French curve matches up with these holes. That's pretty good. It's hard to see that line on this mahogany. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mark on here where station 12 is. And then we'll mark it down there. Now here's our piece of mahogany. It's the actual water line. We got a pretty good cut on that. Pretty happy with that. We're gonna mark it on number 12. Right, right on there. So that when I go to stack these, I'll know that our lines are matching up on the edge. And then we know that we're where we need to be when we glue it together. Cool. One, two, three, four more to go. Okay, so we got most of these lifts cut out. This one here corresponds with water line at 18 inches. The thing that's odd is that as it comes back here, it just comes into the shear. And that's water line 12. So I'm assuming that 18 runs fair with the 
the shear line, which means that at this point, the boat is vertical going from top to bottom. And so I was, I had a, a thought to just cut out the shear line and skip this one, but you can't do that. And the reason you can't do that is because you still have the thicknesses here. So in other words, I've got to have a piece for each one of these or else it, it, it'd be too, too thin. You wouldn't have the full, full thing of the hull. So we've got 18 and I'm going to be able, I think, to just, uh, I mean, all the lines are the same all the way up to, to the stem here. Well, that's not the stem. The stem's here, all the way up to this forward edge of this. All the other lines are exactly the same there. So we're going to cut out one more piece, but it's going to look an awful like, lot like this. And I'm going to go ahead and mark this as, uh, as the water line at 18 so that I don't get confused. I'm still marking this on number 12 so they stack up. And we can see where we're at at this point with these. I already had these other four done. And so if we match these all up right there on, on the line we have for station 12, like that, and like that, now you can see how we're really getting there. But even like here, you can see that that is very close. So um, that's going to be going to be pretty cool, pretty interesting to see how that winds up uh, being at the end. We will have one more, uh, one slightly bigger piece that will be underneath that. And so you can begin to see what it's going to look like once we, once we cut it down. All this will have to be carved off of here and, and, and made so it's just smooth lines, a curve coming in here. All right, one more to go. All right, so I glued this thing up. I had a freak out moment where I was like, did I cut these out right? Was I supposed to be using the profile? But no, I'm good. I used the, the half breadths, these different water lines, got this all cut out. I drew lines all the way around all the, all the lifts. That's these boards at station number 12 so I would make sure and get where I need to be and I still need to straighten I see that third one up a little bit but we're gonna uh, clamp this down and let this tight bond uh, glue this up and then once we do that we should be able to lay it on the profile and, and cut it out so I kind of had to monkey with these and flip them around so that they would be facing the same direction. I, I had them backwards, which was part of my confusion. So I think that'll make more sense here in a little bit, but uh, I've got that glued up now. And we'll go from there. All right, so I took my profile and I laid it on top of this uh, packing paper. What are you doing? And then I just punched a bunch of holes in there with my awl and then drew my, drew my profile out, connected the dots. So we'll cut that out and then we'll be able to put that on uh, our glued up lips and cut out the edges so that we don't have that much more to to carve that's actually coming out pretty good all right so now i took all my other pieces that i'd cut out and i've glued those together those lines there the pencil marks those those are not appropriate um i actually made a better mark I, I put the whole thing in there and made sure that it was sitting on there right i got a straight line on the back so i knew roughly where they went i took each one and i traced inside here for each successive lift and so 
the thinking is that I should be able to put this in this so that when we draw the profile on here, we should be able to take it to the bandsaw and have a flat bottom surface so that we can cut this out without having, having it wiggling, wobbling all over the place, hopefully. All right, so we got this all glued up. These are all of our lifts. When I glued this up, I don't have it real super smooth on here. There was just not much of a way to keep it from moving. We're off, you know, a 32nd of an inch here and there. I'm gonna run it through the uh, joiner and, and see if we can uh, get this, get a, get a smooth surface on here. just fit right in here and it does nicely just like that so now when I draw my profile view onto my new nice flat edge we should be able to take it over to the to the bandsaw and cut it out and we'll have a nice flat surface to work on as we're going through the through the bandsaw. That worked out good. So let's take this back out of here and see what this is going to look like. This is the front of the boat here. It goes up quite a little bit at the deck and that's the back. Now I can draw that out. We should be good. It'd be easier if this was in this thing. It wants to rock all over the place. Oh yeah, even that's a big help. Okay, so now we can see the profile on there. Cool. If you like the video, remember to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.